Howdy, hi, and hello. It's time to get some more monsters. Last time, we got a pretty good team of monsters together. These guys are pretty decently strong. And we're going to just fucking clear out Sky. If we can get Sky done by the end of this episode, I will be happy. And I think that that is possible. But we're going to be speedy about it. We don't need to recruit any monsters. We're just going to go, go, go. Um, and... Yes. Uh, I'll talk about that once we get going. So, three, two, one. So, I mentioned at the very, very end of that last episode that I wanted my Metal Drac to be at <clears throat> level 15. That is because I want it to learn Evil, Sla Evil Slash. I'm certain that its stats are qualified to learn Evil Slash. That would not be the problem. Uh, I'll explain this in a sec. But, uh... It will be very useful for the boss that we are about to fight. Now you might be thinking, Jen, why did you just use the change staff? Is there some sort of reason? The answer is yes, and it's hilarious. Do you see this hole? That particular hole in order to get in here. There is some plot in here. Tara, who is six years old, does not need to do anything special in order to get through there. Kobe, who is eight... His head is too big. His head is too big for that hole. Literally. So you need to transform into a monster with a smaller noggin. Okay. These monsters are doing a surprisingly large amount of damage to me. These are, these are, these are just some mooks. And I know I have repellents with me, like I don't have to take these encounters, but I would, like I said, I would... Oh my god, hustle. I, I don't want to get hit rid of heal all, and I don't want to get rid of sidestep. I'll get rid of it every time, I guess. Some good skills for the dead noble. Did we make it to 15 already? We did! Let's see it. Yes. Uh... We don't need Evil Slash and Metal Cut. Evil Slash covers all of uh, Metal Cut's use cases and more. Okay, so we used a repellent. Pretty sure that the plot is this way? This looks right. If not, I still do have the maps available. Also, one sec. Okay. Now that we're actually inside, we can have our large head again. And by the way, yeah, that was that's one of the version differences. It's Kobe has to do that, and Tara does not transform into a monster. So that's very funny, uh, in my opinion. This looks right. I don't actually want that, whatever it is. It's not useful. I'm glad I'm sort of subconsciously remembering the way through here. This is very unlikely to be a problem, but I'm going to use the bookmark anyway. So we got this guy. He's a metal babble. Uh, cool. Metal monsters are very interesting because basically you can only do chip damage against them. Uh, unless you use Evil Slash, which is either a crit or a miss, and that cuts through their metal defenses instantly. Also, I don't know if you saw that, but that's 13,000 experience. That's why I wanted to tackle this with some new guys. I really cannot stand it asking me to learn Hustle every time. Like, it almost makes me want to get rid of sidestep or heal all. Uh, I don't need lure dance. Rain slash is good. What do I want? Gone. Aqua cut is useless. The spells that target specific families are just not useful. You're fighting monsters with different families all the time, and they don't even do that much more damage. 
straight up other skills are better. Uh, beat. Surround is more useful than beat. Twin hits. Lots of stuff benefits from twin hits. That's better than increase. Prioritizing a little bit of offense over defense. Okay. All right, all right. Um, you have outside. So I forgot to explain the plot. Okay, so the plot is... Uh, it, we have to get three things. That's the plot. Uh, it's very important that we get all three of them. We need to get a helmet, a sword, and a shield. We just got the helmet. And then once we get all three of the things, we're supposed to take it to the King of the Monsters, who is in Hitano Castle. They won't let us go there until we show them the three things. So we're going to go get the, the three things. We got thing number one. Uh, now we're going to go get thing number two, which is in this tower, which does not have a boss. Oh, wrong way. That's the, that's the one-way exit. How am I doing? Two repellents. So I might go back to uh, Hitano Village, I think is what it is. Yeah. There's a teleporter in Hitano Village that leads to Hitano Castle. The castle is actually very far away. It's on a different, like, floating continent, so... And you cannot get to the castle without using the teleporter. So, that's that. I like to do the metabol first, because the experience very much helps with getting the third item. The one that we were doing third. Which is in a very, very long dungeon, with lots of monsters. Including optional mini-boss fights, which I of course will not be doing. You can't even recruit the monsters in them, there's no reason to do it. The experience from them is like, decent. Not worth it. And there is a tough boss at the end. So, that's worth keeping in mind. With the repellent, you can actually properly hear the music for dungeons, which I would say is pretty cool. Pretty sure I know what I'm supposed to do here. It's middle path? Middle path was correct. Well, I think you might be able to do top path also. Actually, I don't think you can do top path also. Yep, you can't do top path. I think this works. Either that, or I was supposed to hit that um, floating square on the left. But I think there's actually multiple ways to do this path. I might be doing the slow one. Oh, nope. That was wrong. There's some interesting monsters in this particular tower. There's armor peds, which are occasionally useful for something. If you'll remember, uh, we, very long time ago, an NPC offered to you uh, breed their armor peed with one of our monsters, and the spooky from desert then became a dark crab. And that monster has now eventually become the metal drac that we're using. So that was a while ago, but uh, armor peeds are good monsters. They have good skills. They're useful for recipes. More importantly, there's a very important monster. I went the wrong way. Uh, 
that is available on the upper floors, kind of like with the Metal Drax in Ice Tower. I will use Informer so that you can see its name. I don't want to spoil it just yet. And I'm like 90% sure that this is the way to go. I love ice puzzles. This is a weird because it's a cloud puzzle, but actually it's an ice puzzle. Yep, this is it. Victory. I want to see if they can be found on this floor just because I go up. You always want to make sure that it's on the lowest floor that you can actually reach. Exhausters, Sky Dragon, Coil Bird, Armor P, Mad Hornet. It's Sky Dragons. Sky Dragons are extremely important for the route. Uh, stinks a little bit that you have to go so high up in the tower to get them. Okay, we just got the uh, armor. I said shield. It's not shield. It's sword, armor, and helm. So that was the armor, armor tower. Um... I do not have a warp item, which is a little bit of an oversight on my part, but ultimately not a big deal. Moral. Useless. We still have a repellent up, is the nice thing. Up, 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 up. Down one? I didn't quite see in time. There we go. So among other things, we're going to buy some more repellents. I think I want two to get through to the sword. At least. Um, I'll take the in. I don't need to warp back. That's definitely faster than going to see Warubu using his magic and then warping twice. A total of twice. How many repellents do I have? I have one more. Do you sell bookmarks? You do. At an inflated price, but it's fine. We're gonna need two more in this world. So having three is nice. Um, just get a whole bunch of repellents. They will stay useful. Get a warp staff. And don't need more sirloins left. How many do I have actually? Just the one. That'll be that'll be fine for now. I'm gonna have to come back here to buy more meat, but of course that is why the door shrine is right here, so that I can efficiently do that. You can buy sirloins in Great Log after you've beaten the final boss. So that's our butcher, that little hammer man right there. Let's go over here. Two. Wait for it. The castle! Now we're in what I call Sword Castle, because it's got the sword in it, you see. correct way to go is this way. The encounters here are also interesting. There's nothing especially useful here or in that first floor. On this floor, there's a very good monster called Gate Guard. Gate Guard is called for in a few specific recipes. And thankfully, it's not too far out of the way, you know. So... I have, I have benefited from remembering to get the Great Drax here. That's an optional mini-boss. There's no point to fighting it. He doesn't guard anything. But you can see a cool monster, I guess, if you want. We're going to be making a lot of that particular monster in the future. Like, a lot of them. So if I remember correctly... I don't remember correctly. But... 
Yep. Up. Yep. Up. Eh. Up. Is the. Uh. Is. Up. Yep. Eh. Uh, I'm just kind of guessing here. Okay. Okay. And... There we go. Okay, finally, I figured it out. Alright, good job, Jen. Really showing your game knowledge. I'm pretty sure you can solve that in four steps. I just remember, I completely forget which four steps. I remember when I was doing a run, I literally looked up the any percent run to see which steps they took. Did I mention that I'm a god gamer? Okay, this one's actually easy. This is another ice puzzle. Oh wait, I'm not standing in the right area to do the ice puzzle. Guys? Your monsters, like, block the directional pads, so I was like, which one was up and which one was down? More of those guys. They don't try to stop you. I think it's outside path? No, it's inside path. Alright, good. My gut was right, and my double-checking was not. The one is... That one. Yep. So th the puzzle there is you have to follow the way that those zombies are looking. And that will take you to the button. It's behind a gravestone, just like our dear friend Ugor the Sage. I think that was his name. Okay. Here's the guy. It's Night Rich. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't think he's actually vulnerable to anything. Try that. Start getting some twin hits going. Okay. Uh, forget that. Use by attack. Oh, no. Dead Noble is one level away from learning by attack. Oh, well. By attack works very well with twin hits. You have healing, right? Heal the elephant. There we go. That was in time. Love it. Uh oh. Okay, good. If he prays to the earth, this battle can get a lot trickier. He wasted his turn healing. I'm out damaging him much more than he's healing. We love to see this. And he's gone. Quad hits. Yes. Level 24. Uh. Squall hit. I don't need Radiant. It's not very good. Too many monsters resist it. We have beaten him fairly. There's the sword. Now, let us away. We set our warp right at Hitano, which is where the next plot is. 
Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need any warp staves for a while, but while I'm here, I guess I'll get one. Because everything that I'm going to need soon is by where the door shrine is at in every world that's relevant. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Tiny metal in here. I think that's the only tiny metal in Sky, though, which is a little disappointing. There's the teleporter. And here's that area where the Andriel was giving us the business earlier, except for on the inside this time. So, pretty good. Now, there's no random encounters in Hitano Castle, so I don't have to worry about that. This guy is blocking the way to the plot. But, uh, and if you talk to him while you're Kobe, he fights you. But you don't have to be Kobe. You can become a demonite. You're the cooking crew. Do a good job with our meals. Also, I'm just going to move and disappear, and you will never see me again forever. Thanks. I think that's very cool. The any present route, of course, does that, because it's much faster than fighting that evil armor. Uh... I didn't know about that, actually, that you could use the change staff to skip that fight. Bolt staff, we are of course not going to use that, it is just money to us. But there is an item in here that we're going to be getting very soon that we do want to use. How many more down is it? It's there, okay. Pretty sure this is where it is. When, I, when you see what it does, it, it will become very apparent while it's useful. Yes, the steel fang. And there he is, the big boy. That large guy. The absolute unit. He looks like a final boss to me. Raises attack by 50. Raises attack by 50? So... We got a guy with quad hits and the highest attack in the party. Guess what he's gonna get? He's also the highest level, so he needs stat growth rings the least. That's some respectable MP, uh, thanks to the mage ring. And some pretty good uh, HP here, thanks to the war ring. So... Uh, bookmark. Bookmark before a boss, always. I love his face. It freezes while you talk to him. Mudo. Uh, so I believe that Mudo has the skill that undoes your buffs. So I might have to cast twin hits more. Um, it's it's questionable whether or not it's worth uh, rebuffing rather than attacking with your person who has quad hits. My experience is that it's definitely worth it. You just fight normal. And I guess I should have hit sidestep. Yep, there's D-Magic. So the buffs are gone. Oh, and before he even got to attack. Dang. Thankfully, Twin Hits only costs 6 MP. Not bad. And now he attacked before he was buffed. Yeah, Dumbo, the elephant, is taking his turn exactly when he should not. He either needs to attack before he has been given Twin Hits, or he needs to, uh... Or he after he's been given twi uh, twin hits, or before he gets hit by demagic. So I'm gonna use a world do. They're cheap. There's demagic again. I think we'll be able to do fine with regular attacks from this point, and I'll do healing if I have to. But micromanaging the twin hits and quad hits isn't super necessary at this point. Well, I'll do the quad hits. Uh, evil slash for fun. Crit or miss. Miss. And the cursor remembers where you are. That was a crit. Nice. 
So I can just move back down to plan and spam A, and it will do the exact same thing that I did last turn. Uh, heal yourself. Guard. Heal you. Scorching is a decent attack, but of course it's not that much of a problem. Uh, squall hit. Squall hit is not necessary. Evil slash. Ouch! And he's down! Stop doing this, please. Stop hustling, please. Heal us and Tatsu Call. Both very good skills. Don't need sleep air. I don't need Big Trip either. Squall Hit is useful for slimes. Rain Slash is useful in combat. More useful than Big Trip. Tatsu Call. Tatsu Call is in the same like upgrade line of skills that the Night Rich did not use but could have used. Uh, there is like a prayed to the earth. Tetsu Call is a prayed to the earth spell. Oh my god, this guy. Surprise, I'm the Monster King. The Mad Condor took him to the Light Orb, which made him the King of Monsters. And the three items that we got are theoretically plugs, which means we could have gone back with them immediately. Uh oh, and now there's this guy. He is powered by greed. If he has items that people are greedy for, uh, he becomes more powerful. Also, he makes you an offer that you can't refuse. Basically, I think he, he implies that he has a plug. If you can come kick his ass, you can have it. Also, he takes the treasure. So that's what's going on there. That's the plot. It has to be a trap. It's absolutely a trap. But we're going to kick his ass anyway. That's basically how that goes. And we already have the key that we need. We don't have time. We're just about to be flooded completely. Oh no. But yeah, Tetsu Call. Tetsu Call summons a fourth combatant to your side. Uh, they're invisible, uh, but they can do cool attacks and spells. Um, it's, it's nice. It's not the most important thing in the world. Uh, it's very situational, I would say, but you can do it. And he's got six medals, which is good. Now, we won't need the change staff again unless we want to go back into the cave where the metabol was, and I don't want to go back there anytime soon, so I'm going to drop the change staff like it is hot, which it is not. Let's see about items. Sell. Bolt staff. Good. Sell this rib, it's not useful anymore. We're gonna be doing sirloins from now on, basically every time. Don't wanna sell either of those equipments. Don't need this love water. Okay. As for buying, love world dues. I think I need one more bookmark. If I have two now, that means I'm set. For the rest of the plot. Yeah, I have two bookmarks, that's enough. Uh, that's it for you. This guy's still not selling to us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we were telling the truth, Tingus. And you don't sell anything else that's useful. We are not going to need any warp staves or warp wings where we're going, which is Limbo. You can see there's a lot more water tiles than there used to be. Walking here around Great Log. Uh. Oh, right, this guy. He speaks in broken English, which is racist. He's a lamp genie, so. Put the pieces together. That's hashtag problematic, and I'm not joking. There's something in this pot? I vaguely remember. Drax scale. Raises defense by 50. Okay, that's a good item to have. I'm glad I vaguely remembered that. Uh, 
Uh, I am going this way because I want to confirm something. There's a new area on the farm. The Mad Gopher finally finished it. It's the underground area. Oh yeah, there's a tiny metal down there. And a sirloin. Wow, definitely glad that I remembered that. This guy has uh, the stable function that Toadstool allows you to put monsters into cold storage. Uh, they will not gain levels, uh, but they also will not become more disobedient. They will not gain any wild stat. Um, and more importantly, it's a way to get around the 30 monster limit that you ordinarily have. The stable, I think, gives you another 30. Uh, you have to take monsters out of it if you want to breed using them, but it is very, very nice to have. Uh, I can't help but vaguely remember that there's a tiny metal in the arena, but I do not need to get it now. What do my notes say? Also, we got through Sky in like half an hour, under half an hour, so pretty god gamer. Okay, my notes say to have four sirloins. How many do we have? Two. Okay. And we are recruiting. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this makes sense. So something interesting is uh, you don't have to go back to Great Log from the world that you're in. I did this actually a while ago. I went straight from Pirate to uh, Ice to show off the Log Twig reset strat. But yeah, after I get my Sirloin, I can just go straight to Limbo. Sirloins, I need two more. Okay. So money might be a little bit of a concern. I don't think it will. There are things that we can sell if we really need to. Probably it will be fine. Absolutely gonna save. Uh, okay. We might still have repellent active, but I'm pretty sure pheromone goes through that. So, we want a very specific monster to mate with the Metal Drac, and it is there. Wait, no, 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 no. Something that y'all should know is that quad hits does not allow you to target the hits. It's four hits, but they get distributed randomly among your foes. We'll see if we can get that done in time. If if Dumbo dies, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Oh no! That's exactly what we don't want. And also, these monsters are pretty strong. Good, no guard. All right, here's our target. This guy's not very much of a threat on his own. He's better with teammates. Let's see if we got him. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was up to R? We're gonna say that I was up to R. And then... We had a monster die, so we'll just go ahead and take the heal, and then I think immediately come right back for the other one. The other monster that we need was the monster that was on the left, Chop Clown. And we don't have the monster that it will be mating with yet, so we can accept either star sign. It does not matter. We just have to make sure that the thing that we get next to mate with it, of course, is correct. Ah, I sold that rib. I was probably premature. I do have uses for ribs, because they're cheaper. Misty Wing is the fourth monster that can appear here. There's four monsters that appear here. Misty Wing, Great Drac, Boss Troll, and 
Chop Clown. Boss Trolls and Great Drax are two of the most important monsters for breeding in the game, so the fact that you can just come here and get them is really great. Uh, Misty Wings are fucking useless, and Chop Clowns are only situationally useful. It happens that the recipe that I'm using the Chop cl Clown for specifically calls for a Chop Clown. That's one of your options. You actually have options, but Chop Clown is obviously the best because this guy's right here. Also, he just used twin hits on his ally that died. Fucking rip. Get him, guys. Uh, S. Cool. So next... Yes, this makes sense. I just need to decide... Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna remember something. I've decided to remember something. The fast travel should be... Oh no, it's, it's after the story is over. Okay. You can fast travel from here to the stable after the story's over. Uh... Yes. Lava Man. We just got some monsters. I'm gonna update the tracker. There we go. Got Chop Clown, Boss Troll, and Lava Man. Boss Troll, Chop Clown, and uh, Lava Man in that order. And Metal Drac was one of the people using pheromones. Our other pheromoner is here, and she is Venusian, so we're gonna make sure that this Lava Man is aligned under Mars, which it is not, so we'll pay the fee. Please talk to me when you get more eggs. Sure. You do a lot of, like, hopping upstairs and downstairs to talk to the Monster Master and the Priestess uh, when you need to. Oh, I I marked Lava Man prematurely. I, I hope you'll forgive me. We'll go with that. So, what ring do you need? I think I'm probably just going to go with uh, the HP ring, I think. Because it's going to become the tank. So that does mean that I'm going to have to go over here to pick up the war ring from the vault. That's okay because we were going here to buy meat anyway. What's gonna happen with the Dead Noble? Oh, I know what's gonna happen with the Dead Noble. Okay, so I have this set up to be staggered, which is logical. Uh, we'll get five for safety. Alright, so now it's time for something a little bit silly. My route spent- my old route spent five tiny metals on something incredibly stupid. I should not waste five tiny metals when I need ten and currently only have seven. And I'm going to be hard pressed to find more. So. No. Wrong. Wrong. 
But what I need to do is I need to decide where I want to get one particular class of monsters. So... These are going to be pheromoned by the Dead Noble. I want Petiteals. I need two of them. Two of them. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, if Lava kills one of them, it's fine. Still gonna have a turn. Okay, we're fine. Join our team? Blaze and heal. Okay. Don't need Blaze, don't need Fire Air. We're gonna get rid of those immediately. Pheromone, there we go. Now we can get the other one. Cover. Cover is a good skill. That came from the boss troll. Um, T. Ah, I guess I should have checked to see if it had, an, if it was level 10. Because if not, that could be a little bit of a bother. I'm going to once again use Pheromone with the Dead Noble. So the other two are going to be with Lava Man. Wow, cool. Two Petiteal encounters in a row. Although they were both ambushes. That's not a problem. These things can't kill me. One damage. One damage. Let's see if we can get the double. Join us. Oh, recruit Petiteal. Is it? Oh, it's the first one, right? Because it's water cross slime. Oh. Boo. Um, merman first. Well, no. Oh no, oh, no! I hit it on charge. I thought that it was on command. Oh dang. that real quick. Don't like this. Now that we're so much faster than our opponents, we should be able to run away reliably. A rib should be enough for you, you hungry little fucker. Please stop hustling. I really do not want to drop a sirloin on one of these fishes. Oh, I guess I got rid of the experience. Well, well. No. It's fine. There will be plenty more experience for Lava Man. Now, I had my third monster on defense, and you might be able to figure out why. Here's your chance to figure out why. It's Tactics Trick. I'm doing Tactics Trick. All of my monsters are defense. Now I can give this thing two ribs. And there's Tactics Trick back, so now it will die this turn. But you're the monster master. Your turn always goes first. 
always. Uh, T? No, you. Hey, you. Okay. Uh, and I know I should have figured this out, but I cannot remember where I'm supposed to go for the other two ingredients to go with those petiteals. It's really weird how the exact thing that I need is just not very close to where my uh, log twigs are. Disappointing. Um, I guess I'll go near near pay. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's not helpful. I think I still have a repellent up. That's the nice thing, is that with pheromone, you can have repellents up, which means you only have encounters uh, when you want them, but you can have them even though the repellent is up. What do we got here? Gante's Mamonja. Mamonja should work. It has to be lava that pheromones this time, though. There we go. Um, I'll do two ribs. And then a sirloin for the second one. We have two monsters on offense, so we're not going to kill them in one turn. He did sidestep, so this might take a little bit. Oh, no. We got it. No hustle. The map wraps around so I can actually go left to get to the third page. I'm spinning my control stick in a circle because these prompts you can actually get rid of with directional buttons. V. Let's get another one. We'll fight this. Gigantes are very strong. Just so you know. And I'm going to be getting a couple at some point in the run. Uh, squall hit. Quad hits. Just attack the Gigantes. Yeah, there we go. Squall hit is like quick attack in Pokemon. It has priority, you go first. Quad hits, there we go. Blaze more, get out of here. We don't use spells or breath attacks. We've got better stuff than that. Oh wait, that's the wrong one, and also the wrong monster. Eh. No.
Oh, preemptive. Cool. Get on the team. There we go. W. Oh wait, I can just I can just work from here. That's right. Going back. Also, I definitely recruited Petiteal, and now I got Mamonja. There. That was silly. I should have just walked in every time. This might seem like a strange strategy, and it is, and also I'm preparing a new route that does not need to do any of this bullshit. So they should both be enough for plus two. T, W. That should make a plus two. I explained the plus system, basically. Um, the threshold is 40. When you have 40, you get a plus 2 as opposed to a plus 1. Combined levels of the parents. So that was 14 plus 27, I think. Uh, and then we need another off to reach. Yes, plus 2. Oh, was it not enough? Because I think the other Octoreach was plus one. Whatever. So these two are going to get with each other. We need them to be different. Female. Okay, good. No adjustments necessary. Wait, nope, nope, not breed. Octoreach. Boom. Plus one. I knew it. I knew it. Should have saved. Well, actually, I'm not sure if I would have tried to grind to get that extra plus one. Okay. So now I need to get these to what? Level 20? That's really disappointing. Get them both to level 20, or I breed one of them a second time uh, with a water monster. Just any arbitrary water monster. I'm going to Ice Sea. It was nice when we had the Log Twig there, and we might actually Log Twig back there again. I forgot! I might log trick back there again if I just want to get as many metal drax as I possibly can. Oh wait, this is the one guy who doesn't have pheromone. God damn it. I picked him because he's the strongest, which means he's also the best at killing. But Hello. Come on. <laughs> Not gonna make that mistake again. Uh, 
just use quad hits. Is there a good option for a water monster? Uh, let me see. I don't know if there are any water monsters in the sky, which kind of makes sense, but also sad face. We'll do another fight. Um, the good news is that since I have one of each, I can pick whichever and it'll be fine. Uh, sirloin, because I just want to get this over with. I guess we're getting a seahorse. I'm just marking it because I'm almost certain it's going to come up. I'll unmark it. Yeah, there we go. Um, X. Just want to see. 14. Okay, so... should be able to tell. He should warn me. I'm thinking ahead, I'm thinking ahead. So you might be wondering why am I concerned about the plus values of these Octoreaches? Well, it's because there's a, a few monsters in this game, just a few, where if you mix them together and their plus level is not high enough or is above a certain threshold, you'll get a different monster than if you combine them below that plus threshold. And it just so happens that if you breed two octo, octo reaches together and the total plus of the baby would be plus five, it's a different monster. I haven't done that actually in a while, so. No. Because I still need it to be ready. Uh, if. I can keep doing this, is the nice thing. Like, I can just grab some more water monsters from ice. Or pirate, if I need to. Um, to just add some pluses. Ah, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I might go over a little bit. Um, but I can, I can show you the thing that I was planning to do. Okay, so it needs to be Martian. Okay, we're good. We might have enough time. This should be fast. So, uh, he gives you a little preview of what monster you're going to make, unless it's extremely rare, and I don't think this monster is extremely rare enough for that. Uh, I'm gonna... hold on, wait. Nope, nope. Save, just in case. Paranoid. Ah! Alright, pausing the timer. He's given us the warning that it's not gonna work and I'm gonna have to do that another time. I'm gonna have to add another plus to the one that's named OK. So, I will do that at the beginning of the next episode, uh, because I really want to get the, the special monster that you get from making it plus five or higher. And then we will do something with that monster very specific, and I will explain that as it becomes relevant, just like with everything else. I don't want to overload y'all with information. That'll be next episode. 
Thanks you for sticking with me as I bubble through remembering this game's mechanics and everything like that. And I'll uh, see you next time. Yeah, that's right.